The next question is, why do I feel so dissatisfied with my life? I have so many things, I really should be happy, but I'm not. Something is missing and I don't know what it is. Well, this is a strange question to be asking me. Shouldn't you be asking yourself this? Why do you feel so dissatisfied with your life? If you have so many things, if you have so many things that you want, why do you feel so dissatisfied with your life? We have this idea, I should be happy because I have this stuff. I mean, this was all the stuff that I worked my butt off to get because I knew this was going to make me happy. And if you look at the world, you'll see that's what almost everybody's doing in the world. Everybody's chasing the horse in front of them on the merry-go-round. So they're riding on this horse and they're just whipping it into a lather, you know, trying to catch the horse in front of them on the merry-go-round. But they never catch it. So they get off that horse and they run up there and they knock the person who's off that horse, who's on that horse, off that horse. They get on that horse and then... They're riding that horse, hey, I got this horse now, and that guy doesn't have anything. And they're happy for about five minutes. And then they look up and they see there's a horse in front of them. That's a better horse. So they start whipping the horse they're on, and they start kicking it and whipping it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But that horse doesn't catch up. So they finally get off that horse. They run up there, and they knock the person on the, the next horse off of there, and they get on there. Well, that's great. And so you stay on the merry-go-round going from horse to horse to horse, and you never really find any lasting happiness. And the reason you don't find any lasting happiness is because you always have another goal. You always have, There's always another something that you need to get in order to be satisfied. Because the thing that you get, well, that doesn't satisfy me. That's not it because I just noticed there's something better. Well, wouldn't it be better to know just what was best? To know what was best. What was going to actually satisfy you? So you're hungry. And you say, well, ooh, oh, if I had a grilled cheese sandwich and a plate of French fries, I just know that would be it. That is, that's exactly what I need. So you go and you have the grilled cheese sandwich and the plate of French fries, and you're really happy. And then you see somebody walk by with an ice cream cone. And you go, ooh, boy, that would be the perfect way to end up this great meal of the grilled cheese sandwich and the French fries. And so you go and you get an ice cream cone. And then you eat the ice cream cone. And then you feel kind of thirsty. You know, you think, wow, that was really good, but, but now I'm thirsty. So you go and you get whatever it is you get, whatever you're thirsty for, and you drink that. And then you feel bloated because you just ate a grilled cheese sandwich and a plate of French fries and an ice cream cone, and you drank this drink or whatever it was to satisfy your thirst, and now you feel kind of bloated. You know, oh, I don't want anything else to eat. So again, you're not happy. Why? Because each thing led to something else, but you didn't know what it was that you really wanted. Did you really want a grilled cheese sandwich and, and a plate of french fries? Not really. What you really wanted was to feel better. You wanted to feel better about yourself. You wanted to feel better about life. And because in the past, the things you've done to feel better was eat, or the things you did to feel better was have sex, or the thing you did to feel better was go shopping, or the thing you did to feel better was get somebody to compliment you, so you acted sexy, or you acted this way or that way, and somebody said, oh, you are so sexy, you're just too sexy for your socks, so take them off, and let's go, you know, run on the beach or whatever. You know, this is like for everybody, so you have to be, you can't be explicit. <laughs> so, <laughs> but we do the things that we think are going to make us happy because at one time we associated some sensation with happiness and that became locked in for us. We're trained by all of life that that a good job will make you happy, a nice house will make you happy, a new car will make you happy, the right husband, the right wife, the right kids, the right school, the right education, the right uh, acknowledgments from the right people. All those things will make you happy. We find that the, some of the most miserable people in the world are the people who have the most. And we find that some of the happiest people in the world are the people who have the least. Well, how did that happen? Well, we don't know because there's nothing in our system that answers that. You know, when I was a, when I was a boy, my mother used to say, the rich get richer and the poor get babies. <laughs> and that's a kind of defeatist attitude, but it shows the whole thing that the world is set up on. So the reason you feel dissatisfied with your life is because you're looking in the wrong direction to get satisfaction. Satisfaction will never come from outside of you. It must come from inside of you because of the nature of your being, because of the nature of who you are, what you were created to be. Because of that nature, the only thing that will satisfy that nature is something that that nature can relate to. And it can't really relate to outside things. You see, it has to be an inner thing. 
there's something inside that needs, there's a, a lock inside, and there's a key inside that needs to be put in that lock and have that turned. And then you can start to experience some kind of satisfaction. Then you can start to experience some kind of fulfillment. Until then, chasing all this stuff, it's not going to do it. And that's the reason. Does that answer your question?